Welcome to my channel, RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named Cetagliptin. About Cetagliptin is in a class of medications called dipeptidyl peptidase 4 DPE4 inhibitors. Cetagliptin is used with a proper diet and exercise program and possibly with other medications to control high blood sugar. It is used in people with type 2 diabetes. Controlling high blood sugar helps prevent kidney damage, blindness, nerve problems, loss of limbs, and sexual function problems. Proper control of diabetes may also lessen your risk of a heart attack or stroke. Cetagliptin is a diabetes drug that works by increasing levels of natural substances called incretins. Incretins help to control blood sugar by increasing insulin release, especially after a meal. They also decrease the amount of sugar your liver makes. Cetagliptin should not be used to treat type 1 diabetes. It is generally less preferred than metformin or sulfonylureas. It shouldn't be used in children younger than 18 years. Medical Use Type 2 Diabetes Mellitus What is Type 1 Diabetes T1D Formerly known as juvenile diabetes is an autoimmune disease that originates when cells that make insulin, beta cells, are destroyed by the immune system. Insulin is a hormone required for the cells to use blood sugar for energy and it helps regulate glucose levels in the bloodstream. Type 2 diabetes, formerly known as adult onset diabetes, is a form of diabetes mellitus that is characterized by high blood sugar, insulin resistance, and a relative lack of insulin. Dosage Oral Type 2 diabetes mellitus Adult, as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control, monotherapy or in combination with other antidiabetic agents, 100 mg once daily. Renal impairment, ESRD requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, 25 mg once daily, may be given without regard to the timing of dialysis. EGFR less than 30 ml min 1.73 M2, 25 mg once daily. EGFR greater than or equal to 30 to less than 45 ml min 1.73 M2, 50 mg once daily. Administration It may be taken with or without food. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Type 1 diabetes, ketoacidosis Special precautions Patient with a history of pancreatitis, heart failure, or history of serious hypersensitivity reaction, for example angioedema, with other DPT-4 inhibitors. Patient undergoing periods of stress, for example trauma, infection, fever, surgery. Moderate to severe, EGFR less than 45 ml min 1.73 M2, renal impairment, including ESRD requiring hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Pediatric safety and efficacy not established. Pregnancy, category B, safe in animals but human studies not conclusive. Lactation. Unclear, excreted in milk. Elderly, safe to use. Drug interactions Increased risk of hypoglycemia when co-administered with sulfonylureas, for example glipizide, glimepiride, and insulins, consider lowering the dose of insulins or sulfonylureas. May slightly increase the serum concentration of digoxin. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors such as topiramate, zonisamide, 
acetazolamide or diclorphenamide may increase the risk of lactic acidosis. Insulin may increase the risk of low blood sugar with cetagliptin plus metformin. Serious interactions with cetagliptin include ethanol, ivacafter. Side effects Headache Diarrhea Upper respiratory tract infection Hypoglycemia Nasopharyngitis Exfoliative Dermatitis Serious side effects Angioedema Kidney problems Pancreatitis Joint pain Combinations Cetagliptin plus metformin is a combination of two antidiabetic medicines, cetagliptin and metformin. They help your pancreas produce more insulin, facilitate the effective use of insulin by the body and reduce the excess sugar that your liver makes. Together, they provide better control of blood sugar. Dapagliflozin plus cetagliptin is a combination of two antidiabetic medications. Dapagliflozin increases urinary glucose excretion and reduces blood glucose levels. Cetagliptin reduces the amount of glucose produced by the liver by raising insulin levels and decreasing the levels of glucagon, the hormone that increases blood glucose levels. The combination of 1 mg of glimepiride and 50 mg of cetagliptin significantly lowered HbA1c after 24 weeks of treatment in both low and high-dose glimepiride groups. Brand names that are mostly prescribed by doctors. Istavil Januvia Mechanism of Action Cetagliptin increases insulin production and decreases hepatic glucose overproduction. Cetagliptin prolongs the action of GLP-1 and GIP. By enhancing active incretin levels, cetagliptin increases insulin production and lowers glucagon secretion from alpha cells, which decreases hepatic glucose overproduction. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.